I will show you how to plot graphs using a spreadsheet program such as Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice Calc. They're very similar and really identical programs. And the LibreOffice Calc obviously is free and open source. Okay, so I will be using LibreOffice Calc in this short video. The particular type of graph we usually plot in science is called an XY scatter graph. Basically, we only put the data points on the graph, like scattered on the graph. And then we're going to fit all those data, the best fit, with what we call a trend line. Now that obviously a very general use of the word line because a line could be a curve in this case, okay, like quadratic curve, a parabola, a square root curve. First and first, when we plot graph, we need to decide which one is the y-axis and which one is the x-axis. So there's a convention, otherwise it would be very, very, very confusing, right? So it's always y versus x vertical versus horizontal. Right? So for example, if we ask you to plot a graph position versus time, then position would be the y-axis and x, uh, time would be the x-axis. Okay? So it all depends on what versus what. Another example, let's say we are plotting a graph that is time versus distance. And that time, the time would be the y-axis, and distance would be the x-axis, okay? So it does not matter which quantity, but the order of these two quantities, y versus x. Now, let's plot a position versus time graph. Obviously, we don't need this uh, x and y here anymore. We just put here for emphasis, all right? So let's plot a position versus time graph. Obviously, the first thing you do is to type in the data points. Each data point, okay. Now, when you type in the data points, it is easier to put the X column first than Y column next. So, this is the X. See, Y versus X. Time is X. X and Y. You could do the other way around, but there's more work later on, okay, to adjust the data series and axes and so forth. So time here in seconds, position in meters, and I have typed in some data already. Now, you left click, and but hold. Hold the mouse key and then drag. So both columns are selected. Just the numbers, okay? No labels, nothing. Just these two columns of numbers. Then we'll go to the menu, click on insert. We're going to insert a graph, a chart. Insert, chart. Now, this is the most critical step. You need to select the right chart type. If you don't, then obviously everything else will not work very well. We're going to choose this XY scatter. All right, finish. Boom, here we have the graph basically. However, there's a lot of work we still need to do on this graph. All right, but we have the data. You see they are scattered here. So first thing first, a lot of times we just work with one data series, all right? So this legend is really not needed here. So we can just right click and cut it. And that will make the graph actually look uh, more beautiful in this way here, right? So we have the Y axis, X axis, then the data. Now, we need to put the right axis labels and a title on the graph. Number two, we need to fit those data points with an equation, a trend line here. All right. First and first, let's put the axis labels and titles on. The easiest thing to do is the right click. Okay, right click is so useful in graphing. It will save you a lot of time. You don't have to mess with this, you know, menus and stuff. Just right click. So for example, here's the y axis. You can do the x axis as well. Just left click. When I say click, is left, all right? So you can see the y-axis is selected. Now, followed by a right click. You can see, we can insert axis title and these kind of things, all right? So insert axis title. You can see the y-axis time is here. Double click on that, and we can change that. In this case, it's a position 
in meters. Okay, in meters. So we have that. And we can, of course, repeat for the x axis. When you do the x axis, actually, there's another way to do things. Okay, so let's put in the title first x axis. <clears throat> so here's the x axis. Double click on that. Let's change it to time in seconds. Let's put a <coughs> title here. Insert title. So here's the title. So it will be position versus time. Now here's a, another way to do it. Actually, it's easier here. When you insert title, you can see you can also type in x, y, all in one screen here. All right. But of course, we can do it individually as well. So it's position versus time. Y axis is position in meters. X axis is time in seconds. Now let's put a trend line here. Again, use right click. All right, so what we do is we're going to just point to one of these data points, which one doesn't really matter, then right click. Now you can see we have a choice called insert trend line. Here you have a lot of choices. Which choice you use, of course, it depends on your data. All right, a lot of times this is also a trial and error process. We pick one to try, see if it's good. If not, if it's not good, and then we'll try something else. For example, the default option here is linear, which is a straight line. And that's the fit. You can see it doesn't fit very well at all, as a matter of fact. So we need to go for more complicated functions. Well, the next com more complicated function <coughs> is what we call a square, uh, a quadratic. Okay, quadratic. Now, then we have the third power. Quadratic is to the second power. Third, fourth. So this program group all those together, it calls polynomial, polynomial, all right? So the power could be anything. Degree of two, and that's quadratic. So we can <coughs> try the quadratic one here. Further down on this menu here, you can see there's another option, show equation. If we select that, then the equation, in this case, polynomial with a degree of two, that would be a quadratic equation, that equation will be displayed on the graph. And that's the most direct way for us to see all information in one, right? See, normally we say y equals to some, some x as a function. So you can do that. Why? The default in this program is f of x. OK. So now you can see we have the scattered data fitted with a quadratic curve in this case. The equation is printed here with lots of decimal places. And now we can change that. That depends on your program or settings. Sometimes you may end up with only two or three. In this case, that's really too many, right? So let's select that equation. And again, right click. Very powerful. Format trend line equations. Basically, I just want maybe two decimal places or something like that. So numbers, we're going to change the numbers. And of course, lots of different uh, choice of numbers, but it's really a number, kind of confusing, but they use this number as a general term, then this is a very specific term. We're only going to display numbers here. Two decimal places, two decimal places, okay? You can do anything you want, but two decimal places. So now you can see this graph or this uh, quadratic equation y equals to 5.56 times x squared minus 0.11x plus 0 0.01. These three values are the coefficients of this quadratic equation. When we study motions, this first number, the number of the coefficient in front of the square term is very, very important because it is related to the acceleration of the object. That's a complete graph. Now, how are you going to submit this graph to me? A very very easy and we have a very efficient process you just click away from the graph right now for example right now I'm clicking on this cell here then go select the whole graph that's the entire graph you see those square selection points the entire graph is selected again the powerful right click right click export as image let's give it a name for example, graph 1, you can 
<coughs> select the format of the image PNG we can try JPEG okay JPEG let's try JPEG you can put where you where it goes okay please remember that otherwise you know where it is let's put it in documents save now if I go to documents I have two monitors I have to drag this back here so if I go to documents you can see we have this graph one JPEG take a look at the size here it's 23 kilobytes so one megabyte we can fit almost 50 of those uh, graphs you can see it's very 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 efficient if I double click on that it will show me the graph right here right here okay all elements are here the data the trend line the equation for the trend, trend line title the access labels including units all elements are here then you can submit this to me to canvas right so <clears throat> it's very easy to do if you follow along I don't think you can make a mistake all right good luck graphing see you next time